Yeah, spring camp is really just giving the kids a taste of football. A lot of these guys haven't played before, so it's a chance to come out for a weekend, throw on the gear, give it a try, and really encourage them to come back for the fall season, whether it's the Adam League or the Pee Wee League. Uh, we're Iron Will Football. Uh, we're at the Red Deer. Um, we're here just to working with uh, Red Deer Mind Football to kind of help spread the message of uh, football development, keep the sport alive really is, is, is my biggest mission with it. I moved out to uh, central Alberta and I just realized that there was a need out here uh, in central for uh, you know football development. Uh, if, you, if you look at the, the blueprint that um, grassroots football in the states has taken, they, they don't wait until kids get to a certain body type or a certain age group. They say if they're ready, they're ready and let the development kind of just happen for them. Uh, kids know what they like. They're going to take the sports that best suit their body development and their comfort level? Well, it's, I love it and uh, saw it on TV one time and decided I should give it a shot. Well, because my brother was playing and he was very good at it and I decided to give it a shot one year and I really liked it so I'm here again playing this year. You know, the young players here are very fortunate to have experienced coaches from Iron Will, guys that have played CIS, uh, CJFL and some professional football. So it's, it's great instruction for the kids, great example for the kids what hard work will do if you keep at it. You know, I didn't have the, the opportunity to start so young. I started um, in Ontario uh, playing high school football, then moving on to uh, Quebec, playing uh, football in, uh, sh at Champlain College, uh, Sage Up uh, in Lennoxville, Quebec. And then I moved on to St. Mary's, um, where I, was, um, I was, had the privilege to be a freshman starter. And on top of that, uh, we were able to win a, a Vanier Cup. My background is personal training, primarily. Played football um, for the University of St. Mary's out in Halifax and uh, also for Calgary, um, one year with Calgary, and then I uh, jumped right into personal training, and my, my job has been since to try to build a better athlete, um, and the best way to start is from the grassroots on up. If we didn't have the structure and learn with how to tackle, out there we would do nothing. We would be running around like chickens with our head cut off, so it's very important. We're learning how to tackle properly so there's no injuries, which would be very bad, and we're learning how to get get in the zone and be ready and see the move coming before the person actually does it. Uh, this is a critical time where you really want to learn on the fundamentals of tackling. 30, set, hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. The fundamentals of each position, uh, just a, you know, improving your IQ because as you, um, as you you know, you develop and you go through the ranks of football, you're a little bit ahead because you're able, you have grass, you're, 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 fu you're fundamentally sound. Football's a tough game, there's a lot of intricacies that come with it, you know, from like how to block and the mentality and stuff. But uh, one of the things that we really tried to underline with this program is uh, the, the athletic development on and off the field. Uh, we want to make sure that the kids are, you know, not uh, focusing too much on the sport and taking away from the academics. We want to try to create that balance because that's all it is as you get older and older is balancing like work and school and the whole shebang. Absolutely start to finish, yeah, A to Z, you're just teaching the kids all about the program, all about football and a little bit about life as well. And as you see out here, we got almost uh, 100 kids out participating, so pretty good success, I think. One, two, three.